You can now make money while you're sleeping or while you're cooking or entertaining your kids or hanging out with your family. How? We'll get to it in this video. But first, see this. Oh my. And the list goes on and on and on. And I have made this money pretty passively. And you can too. In this video, we will discuss how you can make money on Pinterest in 2020 with affiliate links. I'll go through the entire process and teach you step by step what you need to do if you want to make money on Pinterest with affiliate marketing. So stay with me and stay tuned till the end because I'm going to talk about a lot of tools that you can use and a lot of tips and tricks that you can use to expedite the process of making money passively from Pinterest and with affiliate links. For those of you who are new to this channel, I'm Chavi, the owner of Mrs. Daku Studio, a blog to find various work from home jobs and various ways of making money online. So if you are interested and if you want to make money, do not forget to hit the red icon below, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon so you're notified each time a new video is uploaded and you do not miss out on any chance to make money online or to make money from home. Before we discuss how to make money on Pinterest in 2020, let's understand what is affiliate marketing. Now, if you're already well versed with what is affiliate marketing, you can skip this portion and move ahead in the video. But if you are new, stay with me because I'm going to deal with the basics of affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing is the process by which an affiliate, that is you, earns a commission for marketing products or services that are created by someone else. As an affiliate, all you have to do is to search the products that you want to promote, sign up and become their affiliate, use your links to promote those products and services, and you will earn a percentage of the commission once if anybody buys using that link. For example, if you are promoting a product which is $100 and the affiliate commission for that is 20% or 40% each time somebody else clicks on that link and buys a product you're going to get $20 or $40, depending upon what percentage of commission that product owner is giving you. So where do you find these affiliate links? How do you become affiliates of different products and services? You do not have to worry so much, okay? It's very simple. There are so many platforms out there that you can join where hundreds and thousands of brands have their affiliate programs. So there is ClickBank, there is Share a Sale, Commission Junction, Orange Juice, Panthera, Flex Offers, and so many more. I'm going to link to all these platforms in the description box below, so do not forget to check them out. And do not panic, it's all there in the description box below. It is also there in the blog post that I'm going to be linking in the description box. So go check it out. You can go ahead and join these affiliate marketing platforms. Now, once you join them, you will have access to lots and lots of brands now you do not become an affiliate for them directly what you need to do is to apply individually to each and every affiliate program you are interested in and there are certain things that you need to know before you start applying to any of these individual affiliate programs now when you do apply to them they are going to ask you a plan of action and the mode of promotion so there you tell them how you plan to create new images every single day upload them onto Pinterest and link them back to their products and services and promote them there. You can also tell them that you plan to use the promoted pins option on Pinterest, which is a paid advertising platform, but you can always tell them that it is on your planning list. Basically gives them an idea about how serious you are and whether or not you will be a decent affiliate. Once you join a decent number of affiliate programs, you can then start promoting them on Pinterest and make money with affiliate links. It is always better that you become an affiliate for similar kind of products and similar niches so that it is easier for Pinterest to know what your uh, profile or what your business is all about. I'm going to get into detail about this particular thing later on in the video so stay with me because it is extremely important if you want to make money on pinterest with affiliate marketing so stay with me before that let's see what is pinterest and why pinterest is such a sexy platform to make money passively now pinterest is a social media platform which acts like a search engine now yes that is very confusing but we are going to deal with that a little bit later in the video about how Pinterest is completely, um, the Pinterest algorithm is completely based around keywords 
and I'm going to tell you how you can find those keywords, optimize your profile and get the maximum amount of clicks from Pinterest. Before we discuss on how to make money on Pinterest with affiliate marketing, let's look at why Pinterest is the platform for you. Now there are more than 2 billion searches on Pinterest each and every day and 52% of millennials are on Pinterest which, out of which most of them are women with the power of making buying decisions. Now this is extremely enticing okay, because this is the audience that Pinterest is giving to you for free. Now whenever you are going to sell a product or a service, you need somebody to buy. Now it is very difficult to find those people. Pinterest is serving it to you on their platform. All you need to do is to reach out to them using keywords and optimizing your profile, which we are going to talk about in this video in a little while. This is why I say that Pinterest is one of the most attractive platforms to find buyers and make money with affiliate marketing. What we are going to do is to utilize the free audience and monetize it and make money. You can make money. Well, I'm not going to make big promises like you're going to make $500 in a day, but you can, but it's not going to be every day. Maybe once in a month, you have sold enough products to make $500 in a day, but the next day, maybe you don't make anything at all and you're at $0. But to be truthful and to set your expectations right, you can definitely earn a decent full-time income with affiliate marketing on Pinterest. I personally have earned over thousands of dollars with Pinterest by utilizing the audience on the platform directly via affiliate links as well as sending them back to my blog and converting them there via ads or affiliate marketing, etc. So let's look at each and everything. Let's understand the interface of Pinterest, let's understand how and what you're going to do exactly to earn money with affiliate links. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, whatever. Let's get started. This is how your Pinterest account will look like. This is my personal Pinterest account that I use for my um, blog. So I have already created this for a, I have already created this almost two to three years back but right now you will need to create a new business account and apply for rich pins you can go to the help center and uh, go through the FAQs and the help section in order to understand how exactly these things are to be done I will link to these articles in the description box below so this is going to be your profile and this is going to be your name. Let me click on edit profile. So this is the settings. This is where you will upload a photo of yourself and this will be your display name. Now this is the place where you are going to use keywords. Now before we discuss about keywords, let me tell you a little bit about niches. Now it is very important. Remember that I told you that it is very important to apply to affiliate programs in the same niche. It, the way Pinterest algorithm works is it takes all the keywords that you're using and understand what your account is all about. So from in this account, I have used work from home jobs, side hustle ideas, work from home, make money online. So putting everything together, Pinterest knows that whatever I create on this account, share on this account is all related to making money. <clears throat> So it will show the it will show my pins to relevant people. It will show up under relevant pins of other people, etc. So it is very important that you use the right kind of keywords in one niche. So um, of course, the next question is what niche should you choose? So one of so it all depends upon what kind of products you want to. Um, promote so the most popular niches on pinterest is um, crafting niche finance food parenting pregnancy and pregnancy related items work from home etc so these are some of the niches that are very popular on pinterest even fitness and stress relief and uh, workout etc are also pretty popular on Pinterest so you can pick those affiliate programs as well but try and niche your account in a way where you are dealing with related topics 
so for example if you're taking up a fitness if you're taking up fitness niche then you can have workouts stress relief yoga meal planning or healthy diets healthy recipes etc if you're going with the mom niche or parenting niche have the have affiliate programs have boards have pins which are related to the related to that niche so in order to make you understand a little bit more about how the niche works let's just figure out let's just find out one profile and go with it let's say healthy breakfast i'm looking for people so we can analyze their profile so i'm going to go with the healthy toast i like the name okay so she has named her uh, display name as the healthy toast healthy breakfast recipes so she's all about healthy breakfast recipes and the name of her blog is the healthy toast you don't need a blog to have a business account with pinterest now this is the description that you will also need to fill out so nutritious breakfast recipes designed by a registered dietitian with your health goals in mind so again she has used breakfast recipes nutritious healthy health goals in mind etc these are all related keywords which tell pinterest that this account is all about healthy living and healthy breakfast recipes now with each and every pinterest account you are going to have these boards so there are two kinds of boards there is a personal board and a group board we are going to deal with personal board first so these are all personal boards and if you scroll down wherever you find these sort of um, icons they are pers- uh, they are group boards that means that the board is created by somebody else or the board is created by this person but there are multiple people who are contributing to this to this board so for example you can see that there are eight people who are added to this group board so all these people can contribute can pin to this board if you want to join this board you will always find how to do that in the description section so for here for invite you need to go here and apply as a rule of thumb you will always need to follow the board and follow the person who owns the board if you don't know who owns the board click here and the first person that comes here is the one who owns the board so in this case it's street smart kitchen who owns the board Pinterest has stopped giving too much focus or too much attention to group boards so you can all together skip it if you like but initially to expand your reach and to grow your account quickly it is a good idea to join a few niche boards now these are personal boards it is very important that you use keywords while you're naming your personal boards so let's see how she has done it so she uses what is a healthy breakfast again it is related to her niche then there is healthy eating resources recipes for from the healthy toast ingredient guides healthy desserts pancakes oatmeal chicken recipes you see everything is related to each other so there are a few boards which are off off brand like fashion wants and diys it is okay to have a few boards which are off off brand if you really want to promote something but as much as possible stick to one niche so most of her boards are related to healthy cooking so if this were you then you could be a part of affiliate you could be an affiliate for programs that deal with ingredients that deal with utensils vessels or different kinds of kitchenware etc that you can promote along with this or different kinds of eating items or um, people that have printables for healthy lifestyle or books etc so you will find a lot of affiliate programs different different kinds of affiliate programs for each and every niche let's look at something else as well so let's say you decide that you want to be an affiliate for finance related products so we will go with 
the budget mom so the budget mom budget tips save money get out of debt See, all these are keywords i help women learn how to budget save money and get out of debt again keywords click on see all boards and you can see her board so budget tips tips for taxes money saving tips pay off debts family finance frugal living everything is related to finance so if you have if you decide to become affiliates for uh, programs that deal with uh, finance these are the kind of boards that you will want to have now let's look at money saving tip and ideas so let's say you created this board now in each board you will also need to create a description here now use keywords here so th th that is what she has done so she says it's all about saving money the best advice on how to spend less save more and become greater frugal living all these are keywords these personal finance tips will help you get out of debt and continue to live debt free so she has filled it with keywords and written statements do not stuff keywords that is do not just write keywords mix sentences out of it and write it here so how do you do all of this so once you have created your profile you have entered your display name your username about your profile and all the other things that are here we will the first thing that you need to do is to create boards so you will go here and click on create board you will put the name here and you will click on create so a board is created i'm not going to create a board right now once you've created a board you will have something like this so you can have a board cover which is not necessary name of your board the description of your board that this description will contain keywords the category so if you were in the entertainment niche entertainment food and drink gardening sports technology travel whatever your category is and you are going to create and you are going to click on done that is how you create a board now how do you look for keywords so let's say you are going to be in saving money niche now i'm going to go here write saving money and press enter now these are all the keywords that pinterest has pinterest is serving you all the keywords that the audience is actually searching on their platform so saving money tips how to saving money saving money challenge ways to saving money saving money plan saving money ideas budget finances saving money so all these are keywords from start to end it is sorted in accordance to the demand so the most searched keyword is saving money tips and the least searched keyword with a fair amount of um, volume is saving money photography that is the end in this line so if you were to create a but so if you were to create a create an account for saving money the first board you can create is saving money tips so now you can see that saving money tips is actually a very broad keyword because you can further niche your boards so you could have saving money tips for teens saving money tips in frugal living saving money tips for college students saving money tips and ideas budget and saving money tips saving money tips for low income groups how to start saving money and all these things that you find here so one of your group one of your boards could be saving money tips for college the other way to have specific boards is to look for people who are in this niche already so in saving money we looked at the budget mom so you can go to her profile look at her boards see which boards she has the maximum pins pinned to so for example money saving tips and ideas is a good board because she has pinned 1200 plus pins on that similarly if you see for example save money on health and beauty has only 27 pins maybe that board is not working as well as others so maybe don't so you shouldn't go with such a board name budget tips how to budget you can go with budget and saving challenges 
frugal living ideas is a good board if you don't find it so go to multiple um so search through multiple people's boards and profile and see what they are doing so you can look at the savvy couple what they are doing what kind of boards are working for them what kind of keywords are working for them so scroll down see which boards are working really good for them so slow cooker recipes cheap family recipes home improvement ideas cheap meals to make all these are working really well so you can go ahead and keep your keep the name of your boards similar to these you if you are interested in joining group boards then you can go to these profiles write down all the group boards they are a part of and apply to them this is a easier way of finding group boards that are relevant to you and that are working for you because these guys are already established and they already know what's working for them and what's not working for them so easiest way for you to start your pinterest business account and get maximum impressions and expedite the process of making money is to see what is already working and take it from there so two things that you can do search the keywords here and pick up the keywords that are given below by pinterest or look at people look at the profile of other people see what boards are working for them and name your boards accordingly if you are interested in group boards go to the profiles check what group boards they are a part of and apply to the same group boards so two things okay there the third way of finding keywords is to write here budget tips and keep scrolling down sometimes in between when you're scrolling you will see a bunch of keywords that are pretty popular right now see or you can see it here so saving money tips frugal living money hacks money management how to save money how to budget so you can have boards which have these names too so these are pretty popular for budget tips these are the things which people are searching for so you can keep your keep the name of your boards exactly this so this is the third way of naming your boards okay so we are going to recap quickly this is the home page you create a business account you have to create your profile enter your display name username profile name if possible use keywords in all three you will then have to create boards you will you have to create group boards you will have to create personal boards and apply to group boards individually whatever you are seeing on pinterest all these things are called pins so this is how pinterest works now once you have created your profile you have boards you are a part of a few group boards it is time to create a pin so you click here click create pin so where do you create pin so there is a tool called canva i'm going to link it in the description box below it is a completely free tool i'm using the paid version of it but you can use the free version click on create a design and write pinterest you can either choose one of the templates or you can create everything by scratch you can take the photos from here elements from here and create a pin of your own so we are going to do it in a quick format so we are going to just take one of the templates for food pinterest so let's see say this Let's say you're going to call yourself the chef. Brand your pins. So let's say you brand your pins with the name the chef. Generally, it is the name of your blog. So I write Mrs. Daku Studio. Other people like whatever. Even though you don't have a blog, you can just write a name you want to go by. <coughs> so you write fifteen dinner ideas for you. So you write fifteen dinner ideas for weekends. easy recipes easy recipes under 10 minutes so this your, your pin is ready so now what you do is go here and download this pin now upload this pin here so the pin comes here now you add your title here so let's say that 
this was dinner recipe right so I'm going to look at the keyword that I can use so I am going to use easy dinner recipes because I said it is something that is under 10 minutes for family with kids if that's the case of course so I'm going to say five easy dinner recipes for family with kids copy the same thing here create a few sentences with the first five or six keywords and make sentences from here for example um, these are easy dinner recipes for picky eaters <coughs> and keep creating sentences like that and you will add a destination link here so now let's say that you are going to be doing affiliate marketing with this pin and you add the link here this is where your affiliate link goes so now this is a very bad example of uh, an affiliate program so I'm going to go back and take up one of my own um, pins to give you an example okay so let's look at this pin so it says how to make forty thousand dollars doing this plus free training inside now this is the perfect example of um, creating an affiliate marketing pin so while this pin goes to a blog post that I have written about proofreading this could also be an affiliate pin where I, where I put the direct link to the affiliate program I am uh, promoting in this blog post so what I do is to upload this the write the title write the description here use a few hashtags as well and in the destination link <coughs> so I can't see the destination link but in the destination link I will be copying the affiliate link and adding it to the most relevant board on your profile so for me the most relevant board is to become a proofreader that is a board on my profile so that is where I um, pin this first that's what you want to do as well so these are the kind of pins that you will need to make once you start making the pins you will get better at it just a few tips is to leave a lot of white space use big letters and big bold fonts do not use cursive because it is very difficult to use it on a mobile and most Pinterest users use a mobile so let's just look at one more thing that I wanted to show you so let's say that you were a part of share a sale and uh, I'm going to log in you can go to merchants and search for merchants apply to them and get approved so you can see the categories here there are so many categories right so let's say what is in family and then say kids maybe food and drink because we were talking about that so these are the kind of uh, merchants you can promote on a food slash drink beverage kind of uh, Pinterest account so there is tipsy also good company woke you can check out what are these um, affiliate programs all about and apply to them what you will need to do is to click on join programs and once you have it will look something like this let me show you one of mine just a second I don't use share a sale as much because it's not very relevant to my niche but let's say tailwind so it is going to look like this you're going to click on get links and um, you can grab the HTML code from here select URL only here copy this and you will when you're creating a pin you're going to be putting this in the destination link select the board here and click on publish that's all you have to do now what you want to do is to create at least five boards where you can pin the same pin so if you were promoting an affiliate program that dealt with healthy cooking you can pin that to healthy recipes healthy dinner recipes easy dinner recipes etc etc so you can pin the same pin to all these boards okay it is very important because you don't want your pin to be on one board only 
it takes a while before Pinterest optimizes it and gives you the maximum reach. So at least to five to six boards, this ideal number is 10, but never more than 10. So that seems like a lot of work. Why does she lie to us? I know you have these doubts, but I am not lying. I have not talked yet about how you can automate this entire process so you can sleep peacefully while you're making money and you will. So the one and only way to automate this entire process on Pinterest is to invest in Tailwind. Now right away you do not need to invest in Tailwind. You can use the link, you can use my link in the description box below and get your first 100 pins for free. Sign up using my link in the description box below. Of course, there is an affiliate link. But I get a small commission when you do upgrade to a plus account and that helps me support this channel and my blog and help you make money online or from home. Let's see how you automate everything on Tailwind. If you have doubts, comment below and let me know. I know it is a lot to take and many of you must be overwhelmed right now. But if you are going to comment below, I will reply to you and I will explain exactly what you need to do. Now this is Tailwind. You can find the link in the description box below to sign up and get your first 100 pins for free. Now what you do with Tailwind basically is to go here, click on your schedule and recreate your schedule. Now what Tailwind does is to find out the best time you need to pin to where your audience is active. So when you publish a pin, it reaches to the maximum amount of people because your audience is actually active on the platform. So it is a very amazing tool which decreases a lot of your work. If you're not using Tailwind, you're going to be manually pinning everything and you're going to be keeping a track of all that in an Excel sheet and it gets really heavy. I have never done it. I couldn't do it because it was too much work and um, my Excel sheets got messy. So I bought Tailwind and I do it here. So it's a very simple thing. So when you go to Pinterest to create a pin, all you have to do is to go on the pin. There will be a Tailwind button right here. You can click on it. Write all the name of the boards that you want to uh, pin it to. And add to queue now. Now one of the things that you want to avoid doing is to pin the same pin multiple times or pin multiple pins at the same time. So what you do is to click here, select your date, select your date and one second. When, once you um, select the boards, set an interval to at least one day. The most ideal thing to do is to go at least two days or three days interval. So do that. Now what that means is basically if I'm going to pin this pin to five boards, then those pins are going to go to each one of those boards with an interval of two to three days. That's what you want to do as well. You can also join tribes. Tribes are basically like groups. There are multiple people in the same tribe. So you share your pins. You share your pins. They share pins. You share their pins. So everybody shares each other pins and you get a lot of impressions and a lot of clicks because if a bigger and a better blogger uh, shares your pin, the chances of it going viral or giving you many more clicks is uh, a for sure thing. Let me show you how this works. Um, tribes that work very well for me. For 76 pins that I have shared, I have got 162 repins. And with that 162 repins, I have been able to reach 5.2 million people. So you want to do the same. You want to be a, want to be a part of the tribes. But so it's a beautiful tool and it will automate everything. Once you have filled in your schedule, you don't need to touch it for days to come. I do it for 10 days. Sometimes I have done it for three months altogether and never touched it again. So it is completely passive. It keeps pinning, it keeps repinning. You can create new images one day. You can create 30 images one day and pin all of them on Pinterest. Sorry, um, pin all of them on Tailwind and schedule them out on Pinterest. 
so it gets very easy with Telo and it while a lot of you may be on a budget and don't want to invest right now it is a great tool which will really make your things easy so once you do earn a little bit of money with affiliate marketing on Pinterest invest in Tailwind click on the link below grab my link and get the hundred um, pins for free to see how Tailwind works and how easy it will make your life and how it will make everything passive for you this is all about Tailwind and how you can use Tailwind of course there can be a much more detailed version of how affiliate marketing happens on Pinterest and how you can use Tailwind or a specific strategy that that is working for me if you want me to discuss all of that comment below let me know I will do another video on this there you go this is all about how to make money on Pinterest in 2020 with affiliate links if you found this video useful if you are going to start making money on Pinterest with affiliate links do not forget to share this video with your friends and family give us a thumbs up and hit the red icon below to subscribe to our channel thank you